guys, it's Emily, and today I'm here to bring you a book haul. I have not done a book haul since my birthday last year in May, and I've accumulated quite a few books in the, that time frame, but I figured I'd show you 10 of the books that I've accumulated. And I'm really excited about all of these books, and in particular, this very first one is what inspired me to make this video. I found this today at the thrift store. This is Bull Away by Elizabeth McCracken, and this is a 2019 release, and it was at the thrift store. And I don't know if you can see, but it's got this writing right here, and I guess that's why they gave it away, but like this looks like it's in perfect condition and I looked through it and it didn't seem to have any issues like in terms of missing pages or anything so hopefully uh, it was it's good to go but this only cost me a dollar that's crazy and it's a brand new book but anyway so this is the story of Bertha Truitt and she uh, shows up at this in the small town one day in Massachusetts and she opens a bowling alley and then she becomes a beloved member of the community but then after she passes away uh, her son appears and there's sort of like some mysteries about her life and uh, it sounds like it goes on through several generations and yeah it just sounds really cool and I've had this on my to read list ever since I heard about it in People Magazine, and I've actually seen it several other places since then too. I think it might, might even have been on BookTube somewhere. But anyway, I'm super excited about this, and I can't believe I found it for only a dollar. That's crazy. I then picked up The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware at my local Goodwill a few weeks ago. I don't know anything about this. Like, the book the back of this is just boring. It doesn't tell you anything. I mean, I know this is very popular, and I, all I know about this is it's like a murder on a cruise ship, and that's it. And for the longest time, I thought Cabin 10 was referring to a person at camp. I never really, like, looked at the cover that closely, I guess. But anyway, so yeah, murder on a cruise ship, very popular book. Go, excited to read it. Also, a few weeks ago, I went to Intrabane Books, which is an independent bookstore in the Dallas area, and I picked up Autumn by Ali Smith, which is another book that's been going around booktube and in the real world. This is uh, the first in her, like, seasonal quartet, and it takes place in, like, present day, and it's, like, the 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 first post-Brexit novel, and it's discussing, uh, like, England and its history and its culture and things like that. And I know, like, um, Victoria over at Eve's Alexandria has raved about this book, and Jess from the Guardian Scriptorium re recently read it and liked it, so I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. I got the next three books at Ollie's, and that is a outlet store and it recently came to my area. I first heard about Ollie's, Ollie's from Amanda in PA because she had an Ollie's where she lives in Pennsylvania and she was always getting really good books there. So anyway, I picked up Rise and Shine Benedict Stone and this is about Benedict Stone who is a jeweler in a small town, I assume in England, but I don't know. It doesn't really say. And then his niece shows up, and I guess her father is Benedict's brother, and they've been estranged for a long time, and it's about how he develops a relationship with his niece, and it just sounds like a really cute story, and I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Also, at always, I picked up Valiant Ambition, George Washington, Benedict R. Arnold and the Fate of the American Revolution by Nathaniel Philbrick. I've never read anything by Nathaniel Philbrick, but he sounds like just the kind of nonfiction writer I would enjoy. I absolutely adore revolutionary America and its history. I wrote my thesis on Benjamin Franklin and his Junto Club, so I really love this period of history. This is about George Washington and Benedict Arnold relationship and how Benedict Arnold did actually help uh, 
the war effort for a while, and then he became disillusioned and moved over to the British side, and it sounds like he sort of got annoyed by all the different factions within America. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. It's been a long time since I've read something that was set around the Revolutionary War or Revolutionary America. So I'm really looking forward to checking this one out because Nathaniel Philbrick is like one of the greatest American nonfiction writers out there today. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. And the final book I picked up and always was Todd French's The Trespasser. This is number six in the Dublin Murder Squad series. This one is about um, a detective named Annette Con Conway, and she's recently been added to the squad, but she isn't very happy. And then they um, go to to solve a murder and she's seen the murder of Victor's victim somewhere else before and she sort of is starting to wonder if this is some kind of like ploy to get her kicked out of the squad because her teammates don't seem to like her. So yeah, and I've heard that a lot of people consider this like the best one of the whole series. So I'm looking forward to getting to this one. But before I can read the sixth one in the Devil and Murder Squad series, I gotta read the fifth one, which is The Secret Place. And I got this one at my local thrift store a few months ago. And this one follows Stephen Moran and he's trying to solve a crime at a boarding school in Ireland. And uh, apparently Frank's daughter is involved somehow, and I don't know how really, except she's apparently some kind of suspect. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to both of these, and I really need to read books three and four before I can get to these two. And then last Thanksgiving, I picked up The Gentleman's Guide to Buy Some Virtue by Mackenzie Lee at a little free library near my brother's house. And this one is about a guy, oh I forgot his name. A Monty, and he's sort of a playboy, but his father is giving him like one last um, grand tour before he comes back and settles down with his uh, the family business. And so he is a bisexual man, and he really enjoys, you know, sleeping around. And but he has a crush on his best friend Percy, who is coming with him on the tour. And then I believe his sister Felicity is going with them and then it's about I guess Monty and Percy's relationship and how it develops over the course of this grand tour and I'm really excited about this one because I'm pretty sure this is the first book I've read that has like a gay couple on it that's like from a major publishing house you know I've read fan fiction and stuff like that but I don't know if I've ever read a gay couple in a regularly published book. So this is really exciting and this is actually going to be on my April TBR. So I think this is the first one out of this haul that I'm going to get to. Then for Christmas I got two books. I got Prairie Fires, The American Dreams of Laura Ingalls Wilder by Carolyn Fraser. This I received through my Goodreads group Christmas Swap and I was really excited about this. This is a biography of Laura Ingalls Wilder and it's based on like unpublished letters and diaries that have never been looked at before and I'm super excited. I love Laura Ingalls Wilder and I love her works and yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Then from my parents for Christmas, I got Leadership in Turbulent Times by Doris Kearns Goodwin and this is her book about leadership and it follows four presidents, Abraham Lincoln, Franklin Roosevelt, Theodore Roosevelt and LBJ and it, covers, it shows through their lives and their presidents sees the principles of leadership and Doris Kearns Goodwin is an idol of mine. I really love her work and I basically want to be here someday because I just like it'd be so much fun to get paid to write books for a living about historical subjects like come on that would be awesome. So I'm really looking forward to this book and I was so excited that my parents got me this for Christmas. So that's all of the books that I want to showcase for now. I have one other book coming in the mail, and then I've gotten other books uh, in that time frame as well, but these 10 were the ones that I could specifically could remember where they came from and where I got them and things like that. I hope everybody's having a great day, and you're reading some great books, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!